没老农民一生奉献出来的国籍哎，他从罗法勒选送出来的国籍哎。The trip itself is designed to give people an education. I remember growing up and you'd see Taiwanese politics would just be people in parliament throwing chairs, right? And my dad would say that's why we love Taiwan. And it will help to make Taiwanese people in the United States, second generation people, to feel more close to Taiwan, to read the news and understand better what's happening there and why is it important. That you've got to be a farmer to own the land. Okay, so guess what? His daughter, two years old, was registered as a farmer so she can own land. <laughs> That's how he, he got. That's how he got rich. He beat his wife. You know that? I heard different story. I heard that his wife beat him. No, no, no. He beat. <laughs> he beat his wife. Seriously. That's not good. We would like to see the second generation uh, get experience uh, with Taiwan's political system, and they understand better, and they can go back to the United States and help us to voice. Uh, to the mainstream uh, society to make the American people understand what Taiwan is really about. After World War II, the Chinese government moved here, so Taiwan became China. But one year later, because of the different value and then the new government, the China government, is not a good government, and then it happened uh, February 28th event. They kill lots of people, and then they are the big fighter. But we can say China. two to eight, uh, Holocaust, Holocaust, Holocaust. Yeah. Holocaust. You read from us. Uh, I think the finally over thirty thousand people was were killed. Thirty thousand people were killed. Governor Taiwanese governor is the General Chen Yi. He gave the Jiang Kai Shek wrong message to the central government. A lot of Taiwanese people against the central government. So the Chiang Kai said, made decision to, to send over 10,000 armies to come to Taiwan and the Holocaust. Actually, Taiwanese people love peace. So we, we are afraid about something like this. And now today, the, the, the biggest risk is from China. They got lots of bullets during that time. Few people can speak Mandarin. One of the reasons is language mistake. I am Chinese. I from mainland China. You are Taiwanese. You ruled by Japanese. So I don't like you. You are second citizen. Second level citizen. I'm Tai 所以去给国民党大开吼during the time of white terror, Taiwanese people, they didn't have the freedom, you know, the freedom expression, freedom, and uh, publication freedom, and gathering freedom. If you you have a meeting, get together over 20 people, you know, the, the governments can say, oh, you are illegal. For some reason, I always had the... Uh, Impression that Taiwan is overall fairly. No, because like, years later, President Li Denghui, in behalf of the government, to give the apologies 
to yeah. all the family of the victim. Actually, the third democratic election, it'll be really um, important oh. because I think it's a constant struggle between people who identify themselves as Chinese versus Taiwanese. Um, I know I was born here and I moved to the States when I was 10, but between the ages of 1 and 10, I thought I was Chinese because that's what they teach you in school. And I mean, when you spoke Taiwanese in school, you got reprimanded. Yeah. You were reprimanded in front of other kids, you were reprimanded by the teacher. That's kind of their way of washing out a whole generation's identity. And that's why I think it's so important now that we have Apina in the office that he can really do something to help bring the Taiwanese identity back into the minds of a lot of young people. TACL, we are very honored to join you today and support Taiwan's future in progress, in democracy, and the fight for Taiwan's freedom. Uh, Taiwan是一个共同的目标 Let's go. Jean, yes. Hi, I'm Lauren. George. Yeah. Hi. Nice to meet you. And your name again? George. Nice to see you again. Hi, I'm Jessica. Just let's shake hands everywhere. We just want to participate in the rally. Yeah. We want to support Chen Shui Bian. We just want to visit the rally. That's all. That's all? Yeah. Yo 哦,這邊是金頭卡。我是愛台灣啦。誒,愛台灣啦,錢都提去美國啦,阿嫁提美國啦,最後講一句話。我來建館呢,這些殘留的這些料啊,應該把它拉下來,好不好? 已經有人在懷念老舊的帝制,很想像原始凱一樣,恢復帝制,只要3月20號讓他們奪回政權,台灣好像就可以第一席之間變成人間。各位,天下的謊言也不過如此吧。婚內台灣人民但我都能堅持台灣國家的主權
台湾的主权袂使搁置，那你就该坚持，对唔对？一言大变数，两言大进步，四年变改革。别当别用哦，拜托大家继续支持，坚持第一哦，陈水扁、李秀莲，举手哦，牵手下去。慢慢来行，咱今仔日日在顶，所有行政团队甲所有负责时段，慢慢一车，深深的一个桥。Uh, you could see a lot of uh, fires debate and, uh, and a lot of emotions and uh, passions and, uh, uh, flowing around. And, uh, but I can assure you that in, uh, the next day, the, the day after, which is uh, uh, March 21st, and, uh, everything will be back to normal. Uh, uh, this, in that regard, I think it is a very mature democracy. Now, there's no question in my mind. Okay, extremely stable. It doesn't matter how the green attacks the blue. Well, whether it's the KMT's party properties, whether uh, candidate uh, Chairman Lian Chen uh, had beaten his wife, and, uh, you know, you know <laughs> that kind of thing. Uh, really doesn't matter. You know? And uh, here, green, it doesn't matter. You know? If the first lady you know, was engaged in insider trading, uh, the relationship with the United States is good or bad, really doesn't matter. You know? the only this green line. Uh, I'm just very curious as to why you're using TVBS in the era surveys in general. Um, oh. it's just, well, just because, like, uh, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm they're, 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 they're most accessible through websites. Oh, know? okay. I, 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 more accessible. Okay. That's it. Okay. There, there are no other reasons. All right. I was just, yeah, under the assumption that all these stations just had their political biases, Oh, yes, yes, obviously, yes. Uh, obviously, so. obviously. No yeah. question about that. I'm not denying that. Did I deny that? No. No, 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 no. No, no actually, <laughs> no, I alerted you that. You know? That so. is, and uh, all the newspapers and uh, talk shows and uh, have their political stance. <laughs> That's it. talking about the hierarchy um, that our parents have kind of proposed to us in terms of the guys that we can eventually marry. Option number one um, would be uh, a Taiwanese American guy whose family was pro-DPP. That's like the number one choice. Article 17, the president, if sovereignty was threatened, president can initiate the defendant. Now, the opposition says this is illegal. The argument is there is no national emergency. But legally speaking, this right of interpretation is on the president. Because the president has a right to interpret. So technically, I don't think it's illegal. You said the came to mobilize, also they said uh, two million, but that is uh, not true. But even two million, they pay $500 if you come. Uh, some of our supporters say, oh, why not get $500, I'll go get $500. <laughs> You see the rallying caution? People come up voluntarily, you know. They're different. Because uh, for 50 years, press, including newspaper, radio, TV, all are privileged uh, enterprise supported by KMT. Financially, uh, everything, uh, this election poll. Uh, this is always uh, manipulated somehow. You know. The news is manipulated, and also education is indoctrinated, still being indoctrinated. I mean, sometimes the the political tension is so um, sharp, I guess, that like my parents would probably prefer me marrying a white man before a Taiwanese-American guy whose family was pro-KMT. Uh, Yoshi Kun, the current premier. Frank Xie, Xie Changping, who's the um, Gaoxiong Mayor. Yeah, Gaoxiong Mayor. <laughs> the Chou Yi, you know, the one behind with glasses? Scarves? Yeah, they're Appian scarves. It's an Appian family. family. We just finished this uh, 
two to eight the big rally and with quite uh, surprise success. We were almost uh, uh, sure that we would be winning the, the race until today. Uh, today this tenure of staff. He kept that Taiwan Jimu La Basa Yang and the Kaka the Tao Jongin Chin Tai Bio Chiang Yang Tao Kong Dane Base Hui Guanji and accusing all this political contribution. So even though it's not hurting us that much, but still, it uh, hold up the momentum we just pick up from this uh, 228. Okay, so Akiness is nickname, right? Akiness. So in Taiwan, in Taiwanese, we usually um, add an A. And for the straight B, we usually like to take that last character and they add A. So Akiness. I think so. <laughs> Why does the white guy rank so high? <laughs> because <laughs> is the KMT guy pro like very active? Just yeah, uh, yeah. Let's just say he is. You're totally clashing, and the, if the white guy doesn't care about these issues, he's more. How can you have your ideals clash and still get along? Yeah, I think it's a major a problem. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a major it's, problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pain in the ass. As a, a political scientist myself. Many people already ask me, uh, who do you think you, uh, will win this election? And I'll say to you, uh, it's too close to call. The former ambassador, uh, Australia and ambassador to Taiwan, he told me he pray to God every day. If this election means the uh, former ruling party will come back to power, uh, in his opinion, this democracy is in a great uh, crisis. Let me say to you, no matter how the outcome of the election, I think democracy will win. We are not going back to the authoritarian regime whatsoever. 但是今天我们反对民进党的原因就是第一个他拒绝跟中共谈判带给台湾安全的威胁第二点像我们知道台湾的安全必须依靠美国跟日本的协助总统举办的国家安全公投是希望全民支持他的意志去买武器但是很不幸的呢在公投公布的前两天国防部长就说公投不管过不过我们都要买武器那这个公投目的到底是什么呢 The referendum is held on the basis of the administrative order That was set a very bad constitutional, constitutional example We should not downgrade on referendum That is the reason why I question the, the Legitimacy of referendum. Yeah, it is a nothing referendum. If you have ever seen the content of the referendum, we are voting nothing. This is a certainly a crucial campaign. And we'll see what comes out in two days. I see Taiwan is a power China. Taiwan in cannot support with the old China. No, do you know? I was born in Milan, China. At the time, my father is a high. Officer. He was killed by the communists. My family was ruined by the communists. Therefore, I hate the communists. But I am Chinese. I still love my country, China. I don't want separation. It means I don't want independence. As you know, union is power. You know about the situation in Hong Kong right now? The situation in Hong Kong? Well, nice, I think. Step by step, the culture change, economic cooperation, China will be united in the future. I, you know, so, but during your presentation, when you referred to us as a whole group, you kept referring us to Chinese and 
our Chinese parents. Either way, either way. But I, but I will say the thing. The thing I don't like is, whenever come to election, always some politician they try to draw a line. But in United States, if any politician draw the line, he will doomed to fail in the election. Right? Uh, if there are character problem, and they're doomed to fail the first time. But you cannot speak so obviously, you know, against some group. I read in the history where Taiwanese people were treated as second-class citizens as well. Yeah. Right? Because, I, I mean, during the KMT era, I mean, everything that was profitable on the island, such as sugar plants, salt plants, oil, everything was owned by the KMT. Uh, yeah, no, then. not by the got by the government, <coughs> by the government state <coughs> state. <coughs> state <coughs> the reason was because the the sugar, the sugar riches. meal, but the sugar meal still owned by the government, still owned by the government. But anyway, you got one side right. But I would say we look at the old side. I respect your opinion, sir. Yeah. We haven't been introduced. What's your name, sir? A lot of, at least for me, and I think a lot of um, my peers in the states growing up, we just knew, you know, that that the DPP was good. It was just that, you know, KMT was bad. Uh, DPP is good. We talked to a couple of kids who support KMT um, and a lot of them support KMT only out of default. For instance, one girl was talking about just um, a lot of bureaucratic institutions that were built up by the KMT were broken down by the DPP. I'm actually not that politically invested in either party. You no, know, if I could vote... Um... I can't say. I really can't say. But now that I think about it, I do. I do think I would vote for the DPP um, because. Oh, I got it. I had it. Because um, it's a it's a symbol of democracy. I don't know. <laughs>